Hi, this is Prasenjit from Informatica GCS. Today I'm going to show about compress and decompress of files in file ingestion. Let's go to the agenda. So we are going to cover a few points. First, we will discuss why the file compress and decompress is needed for file ingestion and how to configure it. And later I'll show a demo and result as well. So let's talk about why this is required. So basically in the mass ingestion, we know that the main purpose of it to transfer the file from one location to another. May it be Amazon S3 connector, may it be ADLS, Azure Data Lake uh, Services Gen2 connector, may it be SFTP, may it be local folder to local folder, whatever it is, uh, just for transferring the files. But sometimes, for the users, it is needed to compress or decompress the file after the transfer. Okay, so for this, Informatica Cloud has came up with another feature so that users can decompress or compress the file once the file initiation is completed. Let's go to that configuration, how to achieve it. Okay, so I have logged in into IICS console and I have chosen this mass ingestion service. Just to make this video short, I have already made the basic file ingestion uh, task. You can see that uh, source I have selected some local folder. I'm choosing some all star.bin files from this location. And my target is something like SFTP. Okay and here is the schedule nothing special in it so it's a very basic file ingestion uh, task which you will simply take all the bin files from one location to another so let's say i want to zip all these files after the file ingestion because i cannot send dot bin files through email to the users let's see uh, the configuration Basically, uh, it's, uh, I have to go to schedule part and here I have this portion, file processing add action. So let's add the action here, compress and I can choose anything as per my need. Let's choose zip. Okay, that's it, done. I will save it and let me run the file in this now. Okay, let's jump to that monitor. Let's see if it is getting succeeded. Okay, so this is the latest run. And I could see 12 files. All are, yeah, it's all showing as zip. So it looks like all the files copy from source then s50 upload everything is done here okay so let's verify from the target side as i have chosen ftp uh, sftp i will log in into that particular vm we'll see how the files are present there so i have logged in into that vm let me refresh the folder all the files came here and with zip uh, just for uh, verification purpose, let me download one of the files and let me extract it just to understand if uh, the correct bin file has arrived or not. Let me take a small file here to make it short. Okay, so extract all. Yeah, so bin file is present here. Okay, so we'll do the opposite one right now. Uh, after this, we will try a decompress one. So for the decompress, I have used the same file ingestion task and just changed the source and target because already in my SFTP uh, location, those zip files are present. I will bring those zip files into the local folder. And after that, I want to decompress it. So nothing much I have done here in the source and the target. I just made a swap both the connections. Let's go to the schedule. And as I did compress last time, 
I will choose decompress here and these are zip files so I'll go for unzip and OK save and run it so we will verify how the zip files are going into that location and getting extracted so you can see this uh, local in the local folder those zip files got transferred and they got decompressed as well all are now bin files so that's it it was a very simple step to compress and decompress the files with file injection basically after file injection and you can find the steps and more details about all the actions and access to actions types in this docs.informatica.com kindly try to go through that document for more information we will like to hear from you kindly use this below portals for comments and feedbacks thank you